Welcome back to Sunrise Daily. Well, we're talking security this morning. Uh, Richard Amoa is a security consultant. He joins us this morning. Thank you. For Thanks for having me. Well, this um, any day, it's always a valid thing to take a look at because you never, security doesn't start and end in one day. Yeah. It's usually a continuous thing and mm -hmm. people need to keep updating uh, whatever measures you have such that uh, you continue staying safe but an unfortunate scenario uh, played out in the Sherry area mm -hmm. uh, not too far from but the thing about this is when this kind of things happen you see security a police usually maybe a time happens or about that time pop up mm -hmm. but would you say in most cases than not that this has resulted or brought about the desired results of safety uh, really not. Uh, you see, I, I keep telling people, and maybe a whole lot of people need to understand again that um, Nigeria, is, <laughs> Nigeria is short of policemen. And I keep saying it, we, and we only sympathize you know, with policemen. I use the word sympathy because if you look at what is going on in this country, there's no way we can be saying this and we keep saying that. Yeah, 10,000 men have been trained right now to, to be added to over 350,000. We have to protect over more than 80 million Nigerians. You see, the people that sent me to take their security. What happened in Sherry North? It is not the first time it happened. And it's not the second time. You see, when it happened, people quickly forget what happened and just, you know, and life just continue. Why these people go back and keep replanning and come up with another strategy? This is the first time we're hearing in Sherry North now that they came to Kanaa. Before, what they do is they drive through the gate, the main entrance to Isharin North, and they follow to your estate. And I remember the one that happened in one of the estates, and I remember again I was on, on this TV, the same, um, the same program, educating people. And I was thinking, I remember writing, talking to the chairman of the estate, that first of all, people need to be educated. See, in security, information matters a lot. Knowing matters a lot. What do I do? Okay, for example, this guy had been jogging. They are, they, it's obvious that they are average Nigerians. They are, you know, and these guys know them. That every Saturday, they come to this area, they jog. 8 a.m. Normally, if it's one, you know, we always advise that, okay, if you want to jog around the city or around the town, around your community, don't do it. Don't do it alone. Come in groups so that in case there's anything. But for that 8 a.m., and you guys are about 9, if you are security conscious, as you are jogging, seriously, you know what's happening around you. You see, I keep telling people, and I'm not trying to create um, fear here or people to get paranoid. No. Now in Nigeria, with the situation of Nigeria now, presently, everybody, you must be 95, 95% assured of your environment, knowing what is happening. You see, government alone cannot do it. The police have run there quickly. They told you, okay, there are uh, policies here and there. No. At this time, at this age, I see no reason why people could build a house of over 100 million, 80 million, and they could not, there's no CCTV in that estate. I told people CCTV is not expensive. Seriously, today crime has reduced in UK. I keep using UK as an example in the sense that every community, every supermarket, every street have been linked to the police. So what stops us from, as a, you know, as a private investors, you have a big uh, estate. Nothing stop you from investing close to 30, 40 million naira for security, for your people. That's one. Then educating their people. <coughs> Most time I tell people that some of us are available. Call us, we we'll come and teach you what it means to protect yourself. Wherever the corporate body, whether it's a school, whether it's a community, Nigerians, you see, you can provide all the ammunition. I don't care. You people don't know what to do. You, are, you see, I, okay. I want you to, someone, sorry, I'm coming. I want you to understand again that these criminals are very intelligent. And there's something they are buying into. And there's something they, 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 there's something they know that the government and the people are missing. And that's what they're tapping in. Maybe with time, I'll, I'll talk about that. Yeah, because I mean, they're not super intelligent. Yeah. It's just because they, just as you pointed out now, the things that they know we don't do, they take advantage of. That's so, right. Take for instance now, I mean, in the border town, the government of Lagos and Ogun. Yeah. We know that yes, they do what they can, but we have also seen recent times, even in Lagos, wherein uh, the robber and escape through the water areas. What have we done about securing yeah. first Since then. those water areas? That's right. Because border communities are usually a lot less yes. in terms of policing. 
And these guys know all of this. Yes. It's common knowledge almost everywhere. Yeah. So that's number one place. Yes, that's number one place. And you remember sometime last year, we, we, we did have a whole lot of issues. You no, know? uh, Aja, Ikurudu, even First you no, know? all those, uh, Jegu, all those water area. And Lagos, Lagos government bought, I remember they bought one gunboat, if I'm right. And there's no way one gunboat can do that. That's, gov that's Lagos government. What is federal government doing? You see, we keep saying the successive government comes in and go, goes in and go. It's the same story. It's the same story. And I think we need to have government that are proactive in security. Security, we need to be fundamental about issues of security in this country. We keep, you know, it's, 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 you know, um, how do I put it now? It's just uh, lip service. That's what plays to security. W what is it that, because listening to you, to me, it looks very much like deja vu, like, okay, the last time you came is almost the same thing we talked about yeah. when you also mentioned the incident that happened around the Sherry North at yeah. that time. And you also gave us another example, uh, another story of uh, someone who is related to you yeah. uh, and how ransom was paid. Perhaps now we should be looking at how this has become business. One would have thought that uh, we would have seen a reduction. Yeah. Is it that the people are not listening mm -hmm. to the police when the police say don't give ransom or without the ransom we don't uh, get to see the release of these ones? Uh, um, without trying to uh, promote myself, I run a security program already for the past five years. At a point in Lagos here, I did what, no, that a week or a month I, I run a, a program on kidnapping big business in Ogun and uh, Lagos State. You see, when that issue happened to my own relative, and I came here, I, I did mention it, I expected at least security officials to come here and say, okay, how did it happen? You see, in abroad, when things happen like this, there's a case file, there's a case study, so that next time we could know how to follow up on it. No, 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 I think, and I think, the same I situation think happened in, 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 in the police. They, yes, they have case files. The, same, the security agencies, they have case files. If, if they have a case file, and they but, hear but also, you should know, not <laughs> if, they do have case files. <laughs> but so, you can't believe that the same guy, the same guy that did the kidnapping of my own relative happened to be one of the guys that did the secondary school in Ikorodu. And the same style, the parents went to pay ransom through the same, uh, the, the same uh, assets that I passed through to go and drop the money. But my point here is that it's not, you know, people need to be just, you see, government will do their own, but people need to do a lot more. A lot more in the sense that, number one, these guys, okay, let me take government first. Going to invest more in security, and how, what does it mean? We need marine police. We need to get people involved. If it's vigilante, private security people. I keep telling people, private security operat uh, operators. They are in every nook and cranny. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll, yeah. We'll, they might not. They might not have ammunition. We have. We have the marine police. Yeah, the, my, do we have marine police? Are they really functioning? How many? Truly, are they functioning? And how many? We have helicopter here and there. How many of them do you see hovering around those uh, uh, those um, uh, those uh, seashores or those uh, riverland areas? The truth of the matter is that our brothers from Niger Delta are taking advantage of the fact that Lagos were very relaxed. People in that area know them now. They knew. In fact, there's a time because when my relative was in their custody for eight days, they said so much. Who did they say they were? They, they, for, of course, they are from Niger Delta. They are from South South. So it's, this one is not about saying that uh, it's not our people. It is okay. That's, if I just say time, then it was not this hot. That's a guy they took from Ikorodu, and they drove him straight to Worry. 